What's up gamers, Alex here and welcome to another episode of Game Access Reviews. The beginning of 2018 is on fire with the releases of awesome new games, so if you're ever interested to buy them, links will be in the description down below. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. First game on the list is Dragon Ball Fighters, and goddamn, I've been waiting for ages for this game to finally come out since I'm a big Dragon Ball fan. Unlike other 2D fighting Dragon Ball games, this one has interesting fighting mechanics instead of just button mashing everything you can, even if it's what I do since I kinda suck at video games. The gameplay is very similar to Marvel vs Capcom franchise but the fluidity of the combos of fighters are way more satisfying to execute and that is so great. The game contains 24 different characters which for me is a big enough roster including most of the iconic characters of the story but some may think it's a little compared to the Budokai franchise. On the other hand, the type of animation they used for this is simply amazing. The story mode is an original creation made especially for the game, but it's not a masterpiece. Finally, this not so new release is an incredible new addition to the Dragon Ball franchise. So Dragon Ball Fighters deserve to be rated 9 Dragon Balls out of 10, even if there are not that many Dragon Balls. Oh, and Bandai, can you please release it on the Switch? It will be very appreciated. Next one, which was out at the same time as Dragon Ball Fighters, is Monster Hunter World, which was released on the January 26th. Even though I didn't play much of the other game franchise, I enjoyed playing this one at first. But it's also very easy to understand why you may not like it due to its slow paced grinding to build better equipment and stuff. The monsters are insanely creative and it's so satisfying when you kill those giant bastards to loot their body afterwards. Thing is, it's basically a loop, killing monsters to get more material for crafting more powerful equipment to be able to fight stronger monsters to get more materials. At least, you feel really rewarded when you craft new elements for your characters and there is a ton of things to build, but unfortunately, I got bored really early in the game. It's still very great, just not entertaining enough for me. So that's why I gave it a 7.5 badass monster out of 10. Third one on the list is UFC 3 and just like every eSports creation, they're kinda just milking sport game at this point with the same features every year in new games, but they did a great job on this one. They upgraded the carrier mode with a bunch of decisions that you can make during the week before a match like training, learning new skills, promoting yourself or sparring. After you have to make other choices to know what you're going to work on, what will you learn or how are you going to promote yourself etc. You just have to not be like me, just be smart. The fighting is pretty much the same with some new moves, managing stamina and all. The loot box system is kinda annoying because what is EE without gambling, but hey, at least now Snoop Dogg is a commentator. The game is great, but far from being amazing. That's why we gave it a 7 McGregor out of 10. Final game of this week episode is Shadow Colossus Remastered for PlayStation 4 and holy crap, it's amazing. The desolate lands, the giants, the characters, everything is good looking. The story is not explained by someone, but more by the game itself when you experience your way through it. Basically, you have to kill the 16 giants to save some kind of girl that we don't really know who she actually is. The gaming mechanics were actually good in the PlayStation 2 version, therefore it didn't really change that much. Why changing a working formula? The original soundtrack fits with the landscape pretty well and the sound effects are on point. The giants actually feel like they are giants and it's goddamn terrifying. It's an incredible game that definitely puts some Xbox owners jealous. That's why we gave Shadow of the Colossus a great note of 9.5 Giants out of 10. That concludes this week's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share the video if you like it. And remember that Game Access is made by gamers. For gamers, have an excellent week.